In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Ray-Ban Meta Wayfarer to your iPhone or Android smartphone. So the step number one is to download the Meta View app that is available on the Google Play Store or the App Store. Then next step is to press open. Now I have already logged in into my Meta account. You can do this using your email, your Instagram account or your Facebook account. Before pressing continue, I suggest you put back the glasses inside of the case if you didn't already do it and make sure that they are turned on. So if this switch over here is on the left side and you see the red dot, push it towards the right side and now you know it's turned on. You should also see a small light flashing here. And then you can press continue. Now choose the top option over here, Ray-Ban Meta. And on the screen, they simply inform us that you need to remove the small plastic tag with the arrow if you didn't already do it. When I unbox these glasses and open this case, there was a small plastic tag with an arrow. You just need to pull it. Then press done. It will now search for your glasses and usually it should only take a few seconds or maybe in your case a few minutes. Just make sure that the case is very close from your phone. Then once they found it, press connect. Press pair. If there is an update available, it will automatically download it at this step. So you see it's doing it. All you have to do is to put your phone down. And by the way, I suggest before even starting this process to charge the case with the glasses inside because depending how much time this has sitted inside of the store, the battery inside of the glasses and the case could be at 0%. So this is just something to keep in mind. Now I'll come back when this has been completed. Once the update has been downloaded, you need to press on install update and press allow and then press join. In our case, it will take about four minutes to install the update that just got downloaded. So I'll be back when this is completed. Okay, the update has been installed. Now I can press continue, press allow. And they will ask you to put the glasses on your face. So let's do this. Now they will ask us to press on the capture button. Let me remove them so I can show you. The capture button is on the right side over here, right above the Ray-Ban logo. Press it once. Then on the screen, it will ask you to keep it pressed to start recording. So press and hold this button. Then you'll get a check mark on the screen telling you that you, that you did it. Press the capture button again to stop recording. Here you go, another check mark. Now to play music, you just have to touch the touchpad once. The touchpad is located over here on the left side of the Ray-Ban logo. So just have to tap it once. Now, if nothing happens on the screen, just press the skip button. Now it will tell you to adjust the volume. You just have to swipe on the same part up and down like this. You can press the skip button once you did this. To pause the music, you just have to tap once on the same side like this. I'll press skip again, press next. Now you're not obligated to activate this next option. If you do not want it, you can press skip. But if you want to have access to the voice command by saying, hey, Meta, take a video or hey, Meta, take a picture. Well, you need to press continue and press enable voice controls. Then you need to scroll down and you have the choice 
to use store voice recording. So every time you say, hey, Meta, do something, do you want this to be stored in their server or you do not want Meta to store your personal data when you're speaking? I prefer do not store voice recording, but this is up to you. Now, next step, you can set up call and messages hands-free. This feature works with WhatsApp Messenger or your phone contacts. This way, you'll be able to call them and message them directly from your glasses using your voice. If you want to have this feature, just press over here. If you want to customize the voice you're hearing on your glasses to something else than English, you can choose customize voice settings. Or you can do this later if you're not ready to enable these features. I'll choose do this later. And here it's up to you if you want to share your personal data with Meta or if you do not want to share this, I'll click on the below option, don't share additional data. Then press done button. And here we are on the main screen of this app. On the top left, you will always see your glasses and how much percentage battery is left inside. The most common features that you'll use from this app is these three things over here. First, we have home to get on this home page. Then we have this icon. If you click it, you'll be able to save the media from the glasses. So the pictures or video you have capture to your camera roll. But to do this, you need to press continue here. and select allow full access. Then on the top, it will tell you how many media has been found. In our case, the test shots we just took a few seconds ago will be here. So two media has been found. But if you have took more videos or pictures, there'll be more. So if you want to import these, just click the import button over here. It will search for your glasses over Wi-Fi, then press join. Wait a few seconds. and you'll have a progress bar over here depending how many videos and pictures you have it may take a few minutes but in our case an 11 second video and one picture took about 10 seconds to transfer then you will get this confirmation confirmation message and you'll be able to see the pictures and videos and to share them using these different options finally we have settings if we press on settings You'll have multiple options. I won't go through all of them, but you can customize the different features that these glasses have. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please leave a like. If you want to get one of these, check the Amazon links in the description and I'll see you in the next video.